We can also go in and add people to these tasks. The way we can do that is by either double clicking on the task. And this again pops up this task form that you can tailor uh, or as an administrator you can. So you can tag the type of task and the status of it or link it to a risk or whatever you want. Let's say this is a legal matter. And let's say we're going to add a user like myself and give me 50 hours. And we're going to add Carsten as well and give him 25 hours. So all up, that gives us 75 hours. Let's try and save that one. So now we can see Peter and Carsten has been added to the task. And that also means that if we click on this heat map down here, we can see that Peter and Carsten has in this period, in total these hours for this task. If we zoom in a bit more, if you want to, you will then be able to go into these details if we click on days and very detailed see how the allocations has been done across these dates that we have allocated. It also understands the context of a weekend and so forth. When we move things here, immediately we see the impact below even before we click on the mouse button. So, and again, if we squeeze this so that it doesn't fit, you will see immediately the red icons popping up or the red indicators showing that people are over allocated. So that is what we call the real-time heat map experience.